Hey there internet, Keith here and welcome to the Cars Keith YouTube channel. In this video we're going over the new for 2023 1500 PSI battery powered pressure washer from Ryobi. Now they first came out with this type of unit last year and it had mixed reviews because there were a few things that just didn't make it the total package. They fixed that for this year but the problem is they raised the price. This thing is now $600, $599 retail. Last year it was $499. Now I am a Ryobi guy, which is weird because I'm wearing a obsessed garage shirt and he's all about Milwaukee tools. But me and Matt, we don't always agree on everything, but they do have really good things on their websites and they do push really good products. For me, my value is in these two $220 piece batteries that come from Home Depot. So for $600, $440, that has two batteries that I kind of need. I have multiple batteries that are three to four years old, and they're just kind of getting out of the cycle. They're used all the time when I'm trimming and edging and using the blower. So it's time to add these to the rotation. The main reason I bought this. Regular numbers, 1500 PSI, 1.2 pounds per minute. That's what their normal products do that plug into the wall, which would be amazing. Now, obviously, you're not going to get the runtime of an electrical one. I believe the runtime in this line about 25 minutes. It does have a power boost option, so it runs at about 1,000, it says. Hit the power boost, it goes up to 1,500 for eight minutes. So when you have brushless, it's going to be a motor that's a little more durable over time, but normally they have a ramp up, so it's not like an instant on, instant off. It ramps up and ramps down. Now, this is also a Whisper series, which means it's really, really quiet. I have multiple tools that are the Whisper series, and it's just, it's a totally different game. Like, I have one regular blower that's regular, and the whisper and it's just a night and day difference between the two so one of the main things they improved on from last year last year they offered five amp hour batteries with the unit now there's six amp hour batteries so the runtime should be a little bit longer and then the biggest problem i had with this unit last year is it used to come with a gravity fed bag so you could use this outside of just a garden hose but you had to hang the bag to this uh handle here or to something else and then you could gravity feed the water in because there needed to be a little bit of force to get it to pump and work. Well, now they have changed to where it now auto primes. So we add this to the front and then you'll be able to run it out of a bucket using your 10 foot siphon hose, which has a really nice filter here. It has a floater. If you're going to throw it in a pond or a lake, you don't want it to be on the bottom. You want it to be kind of in the middle. It also has a clip that clips it to the side of a bucket, which is mainly what I would try to use it for was traveling car show. And I need, I'm bringing a you know, couple buckets of DI water with me. This is a portable battery powered unit. So unless you're stuck to a hose, you can go wherever you want. You really don't need that long of a hose, but it is the El Cheapo ones that like they, they have memory, right? And they'll just always want to curl back up. Uh, they're not very forgiving. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of them. They're also still stuck in this adapter plastic world where these two units kind of go together and that kind of splits on. They do give you the quarter inch at the end. Now the gun, actually, the trigger feels really nice. And it is very solid. I don't even, there's not a single thing moving around in there. So it comes with an orange nozzle that's a 15 degrees. It is a 2.2 orifice, so it is stamped on here. Slightly higher than normal for Ryobi. Normal Ryobi's are about 1.7. This blue nozzle, this is your soap dispenser nozzle. So it has a soap dispenser. Once you put this nozzle on the gun and it sprays a specific amount of pressure and flow, it understands it. So it just starts injecting soap is what it's supposed to do. And then when you switch the tips, it's supposed to go straight to rinsing. Comes with a turbo nozzle. Turbo nozzle basically just takes a zero degree stream, which is the pinpoint stream, and, and makes it to where it spins around at a fast rate. You also get a garden hose quick disconnect that will mate to your siphon hose. Kind of goes just like that. Uh, it's definitely, I don't know if it's a mixture of um, plastic and rubber, but they're definitely softer. Uh, they have a little more grip. But the wheel assembly and the handle with the removal of two screws just comes right off the unit, and then you can have it in its normal state. So we have another Ryobi tool. Let's take out our two screws. This little plastic piece comes off. So you just kind of turn it up on the side. This just comes out and it comes right off. Uh, there's two screws at the bottom here that you have to screw in when you buy it along with the two screws here. That's the only really setup that you need. This is actually a water resistant top. It is very spring loaded, which I've learned. There's no safety there. 
<laughs> so you throw in your batteries. that the on off switch has a really nice gasket seal around it as well it just it's very water resistant now unlike this right here this is the Ryobi easy clean this is about 600 psi it is brushless and it uses the same you know hose connections and stuff as this one this one's actually upgradable you cannot do anything with this you have to buy all Ryobi accessories which I'm not a big fan of but I understand Trying to get the money grab. This one is completely upgraded. We have an M22 14mm on the front. Your gun has an M22 14mm as well. So you could easily run a single 25 foot Uberflex hose and make those or a 50 foot. It does state in the instructions do not go with more than a 50 foot hose because there is pressure drop as a hose gets longer and longer. Now, for this unit, the only upgrades that I would suggest is the Uberflex at 25 foot and that adapter that'll take your gun and make it much shorter much more manageable phone can on the end won't be as cumbersome but if you don't use it too often you're using it around a house every now and then you out set out the boat dock that's the setup or you're in an apartment uh you could use bucketed water at the apartment or sometimes they have a hose you have a very quiet fresh washer that's not going to bother the other people in your unit before we get any further into the video check out the links below hit that like button subscribe to the channel let's get the testing as you can see right here, there's little spots, little grommets right here to hold both that blue and the orange nozzle. There's a spot over here to the side that holds your uh, priming adapter. There's a spot that holds your turbo nozzle, spot for your bond, spot for your gun, and place for your hose. Hose will screw right into the front. And 22 fittings require no hand tools. You take our gun. We screw the other end of the hose into the bottom of the gun. We put our piece in sideways. This is like an oval. And once you get all the way in, then you turn it up and then you have your wand. We'll try out a orange first. We have our Flexilla hose, which I highly recommend. It's a 5 8 inch hose. Plugs right into the back here. This has a swivel on the hose, so it's really easy. So the water's on, checking for leaks. Not at the back, not at the front. We have flow, let the air get out, but to where it keeps flowing water. That spatter is either air in the garden hose or air in this hose. There it is, it's pressurized. Ooh, that is some pretty good power. Power boost. So we found a common area at the side of the house on the brick below this tree where it likes to build a little bit of mold. Let's see how it does. This is just in the regular position with no boost on their orange tip. Now this should clean better. I will let you know that this thing is already aggravating the heck out of me with the loops. Time for the power boost. That makes a difference. That's definitely a lot more pressure. Power boost with the turbo nozzle. Let's paint the concrete here. So we have the turbo nozzle first, and this is on just regular. See what I'm talking about? Going too fast, you get those swirls. If you slow it down, That's clean right there. How about some good old turbo nozzle? Here goes the 15 degree. Time for a power boost. Now it's time to try out how it cleans out of a bucket. It's about four and a half gallons in that bucket. As you can see, it wants to float a little bit, but it sinks in there pretty good. We have our quick disconnect on the back that's connected to our siphon hose. On the front, we have our adapter that's on there. And let's turn it on. Oh, that was quick. Now we're not gonna run back through 
both nozzles and everything in all settings. We'll just do the turbo nozzle and we'll do boost and non-boost. This is non-boost. Let's do some power boost. Here we go. I should buy pressure washers more often to review. It'd probably be a lot cleaner. This is non-boost. Like I said before, make sure you do slow. And all those swirls will come together as a nice, really clean strip. Now we got turbo boost on, we should be able to do that a little bit faster. Now between running that bucket and running out of the garden hose, I could see no difference whatsoever in the cleaning power we showed you on the ground, on the moldy concrete, which is like the biggest thing that everybody uses a pressure washer for, or on that masonry brick. So we're using our stock gun, stock setup. As you can see, the reason I hate these hoses so much, look at that. So what we're gonna do here is just checking PSI. We have our gauge here. This is a stock nozzle as well. Wow, it's about 11.50. Turbo boost. Wow, that's 15.50. We're gonna put my phone on top of the unit and we're gonna use that as the stopwatch for our gallons per minute test. We have an empty bucket here. We're gonna run it for one minute in regular mode. There we go. You see, I went one second over because it has a ramp up. It took a second to get going. That gives us a true measure there. Well, would you look at that? 1.25 gallons. We are back to an empty bucket and you can tell when it's in that regular mode, there, there's more sound coming from this than there is from the unit. And the vibration was almost nothing. My phone stayed there the whole time. Now it's time for turbo boost. Holy crap, would you look at that? Almost one and a half gallons per minute. So now let's set this up the proper way. Throw that away and that piece of junk away. You don't have to have a quick connect here. This is just as good. But we'll run a quick connect here because we're gonna to wanna to connect to our short gun. We've got our connect here. It's an N22 14 millimeter to 3 8 part of that McKillen's kit. Now I have my gun. And now I have a hose that isn't gonna go crazy on me and coil like crazy. This is a very flexible hose. This is my suggested tip. It's a 2.5 on the SGS gun, Uberflex. The gun and the hose is not gonna make a difference. But that tip being a slightly larger orifice will bring our you know, PSI down from the 1150 we saw to probably about a thousand. Let's, let's check it out. See, it started out at 950, went right up and stayed at 1,000. That's the perfect pressure for a car washing. So here we go. So there you go, we're probably about 1.3 or so, slightly more than the 1.25. All right, so I've had a little bit of a bite to eat, let the batteries charge. And one thing I will tell you is the fast charger that comes with it is true. One hour. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna foam the car using the soap dispenser of the unit. And we're using Incredible Suds by DIY Detail. Code Cars with Key will save you 10%. This stuff is amazing. It foams awesome. So I figure if we're gonna get this thing to foam, that's what it's gonna be. I put about three ounces for 32 ounces because it says the soap dispenser runs at 20 to one. Now, I, there's no soap. So I say we switch to the blue nozzle. And it should just start shooting soap, right? There we go. Okay. That is not foam. <laughs> let's um let's hit it. Turbo boost. See if you think better. That's a little bit better. So we'll turbo boost our pre-soap.
That was uneventful. Taking off the turbo boost. Yeah, that's nothing. Oh, that took a minute for that to get going. Now it's coming out. So let's do a thorough rinse here. Well, the rinse nozzle on the detergent actually worked. When I used the rinse nozzle, I got nothing water. When I used the detergent tip, I got soap, but I got soap in varying amounts. Uh, some was very little and then some was a lot. So I don't think the mix was very good. So we have our MJJC SV 3.0. This is my favorite foam cannon. This is the best one on the market, I believe, right now. There'll be a link below, but we have one ounce of Incredible Suds in here, plus the 32 ounces of water. There we go. That's what we're talking about. That's not a wider fan. If I change that fan like that, Woo, look at that. If you haven't watched my videos before, I get very excited with foam. It's like my therapy. I'm sorry for the, for some reason the camera just keeps changing dark to light for some reason, but uh, we'll deal with it. It does have an initial ramp up, so it starts as like a really soapy, bubbly, and then as it moves into its main uh, pressure, foam's really good for uh, a 1.25. So if you ran 1.1, for sure you would get this amazing foam, but you're gonna run your batteries down real quick. Oh boy, is it humid in here. Each battery still has three bars left. For both of those batteries to be a six amp hour and have three bars left, I know I could take those, put them on my leaf blower, and blow off the entire car with the rest of the charge that's left. So the only one thing left to do is you can see I have my STS-28 here zip tied closed. We're gonna shoot the uh, stream outside underneath the garage door, and the neighbors are gonna wonder what the heck is going on. We're gonna turn it on and then we're just gonna time, see how long it is. But they told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Every move is on the page. But I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave. Had to find a way to change. Had to leave to find my way. Got up in a daydream. I beat my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions, safe. Oh. That's how I understand what I want. There went after 18 minutes. Double foam, double rinse, and then 18 more minutes. It's a very viable, portable solution. All I can say is, wow, just wow. Pros, everything. Cons, $600. But I think this has been an awesome as a plug-in and a battery-powered unit. Now, I know that cannibalizes cells of other products, but this thing is really good. Obviously, the spray gun and the hose that come with it, but that's an industry standard. They all come with crappy hoses, just about all of them. Some of the pro models have decent stuff. The numbers were great. We got the stated 1500 PSI, we got 1.25 on normal, and we got the 1.5 on the boost. Replace the hose with like at least a 25 foot Uberflex hose. Get that adapter that I showed earlier. Links will be below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And this just kind of comes out. <laughs> That's what those other two screws are for. That is, oh, it's on. Woo! So before you, so before you, before you get into, so before you get in, oh shit! <laughs> Woo, that was fun.